Hey, it's Christy Nazaro, and I am back with a tutorial for Stencil Girl products. I don't know about you, but I have a ton of these Amazon mailers and I want to recycle them, but I find them to be really boring. Um, I wanted to jazz them up a little bit. I love to send happy mail and why not recycle and use my stencils to create really fun mailers. So the first step that uh, you want to do is you want to take some acrylic paints and go ahead and start to paint the front and the back of the recycled mailer. So as you can see, this one has some damage from pulling the label off and this happens quite a bit. It's no problem, no need to throw it away. Just grab your masking tape and just go ahead and cover all of the holes and all of the rips with your masking tape. Now that you have your holes and your tears covered with your masking tape, you're going to want to go ahead and cover both sides of your mailer. Now you can use a paintbrush or you can use a makeup sponge. I find that the paintbrush goes a little bit faster than the makeup sponge. So go ahead and just start covering the entire first side of the mailer. Now that you have that first side covered, you can go ahead and switch to your next mailer and allow this side to dry. As you can see, the mailer is completely dry now, and I'm going to add my stencils right on top. Um, you really want to make sure it's dry, so because if you lay the stencil on top, sometimes that pulls the paint off if it's still wet when you go to remove your stencil. I just received a new shipment of stencils from Stencil Girl, so I'm going to use the Making Waves stencil. And I chose rather non-traditional colors for the outside, but I really wanted this mailer to pop. I love bright colors, and I'm just gonna go ahead using a makeup sponge and pounce the paint through the stencil and I'm going to cover the entire one side of the mailer. Now that I've filled the entire front, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stencil. Um, what I'd like to do is add a spot that I can put a return address as well as a regular address of who I'm addressing this to. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another stencil. This is the Mid-Century Modern Banners stencil. And I'm gonna go ahead using white paint and add a spot for a return address and then go ahead and add a spot for who this is being mailed to.
Now that I have my boxes, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few Posca markers and just outline these little boxes to highlight them and make them pop off of the mailer. Using a white gel pen, I decided to outline the stencil to make it pop even further off the mailer. I love the way that the white gel pen highlights the individual pieces of the stencil. And there you have it. This is the finished piece. As you can see, I added some additional stencils within the stencil. I added the repetition stencil and then I took my sewing machine and I actually stitched around the edges. I also uh, added some dots and um, some other line work just to make the stencils pop. Now this was another mailer that I had used and I actually, it was a very big mailer, so so what I did was I went ahead and stenciled, but then I cut it into pieces to make them a little smaller. I used a white china marker and, and added some additional marks and stitched around the edges with my sewing machine just to give it a little extra dimension and color. so much for watching. I hope this tutorial inspires you to grab your Stencil Girl stencils and make a recycled mailer today.